to another vloggy vlog vlog. Oh, forgot I was going to start the vlog with. Not that I've really got anything to eek about, but purely because. Yeah, if you know, you know. <laughs> You'll know why I've started that with an eek. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. I was actually going to start with something a bit more. Ooh, which is. Oh, and I've stalled. <laughs> Eek. Um, welcome back to my channel. Let's start this again properly and to another vlog. I firstly did want to say thank you to everybody for all the messages that I've had on Instagram this week. If you only watch on YouTube, you'll think, why are you sounding all somber and blah, Tina? Because the last vlog you put out was a super exciting one because it was my trailer reveal. If you haven't seen that, there'll be a link in the description below. But I've had a very exciting new sponsorship, which has been in the pipeline for quite a long time. And I've struggled to keep it a secret if I'm honest, but I did. Um, but yeah, the other thing that I was talking about, which I've only shared on Instagram, I haven't shared on YouTube, but I am now, is that uh, just over two weeks ago, I found a change in my breast. Uh, it was a change of color and a lump, quite a prominent lump. And I, long story short, everything is fine, thankfully, but um, obviously I did panic, I did worry, I was, you know, every emotion under the sun, especially if you do Google red mark on breast don't do that because that's bad and makes you have sleepless nights um, thankfully the doctors got me in super quick I, I just brief it because I think I wasn't gonna share about it and then I did share on Instagram about it because I kind of felt a responsibility to I think when you've got a platform with primarily female followers um, obviously men can can yeah get it too um, but Oh, this is why I didn't explain because I'm so rubbish with words, but I feel it's important and I have a responsibility with the following to raise awareness. As you all know, I ran the 100K for breast cancer not so long ago and I raised 1400 pounds and I am a strong believer in helping and raising awareness where you can. However, when it was something that could have potentially been an issue myself I shut down and I let everything get on top of me and panicked basically which is what you shouldn't do I mean as I've said thankfully everything is fine and we'll continue to stay that way um, but the whole idea is don't panic call the doctors get things checked go through the process and reiterate how important it is to do that. That's what I wanted to do quickly now. Um, this is not gonna be a somber vlog. Like I say, I've had good news, thankfully, but I'm aware that others don't. So I do just want to use my platform to reiterate the importance of checking yourself regularly. And if you do find something abnormal, calling the doctors and getting it checked out. Not being embarrassed, not thinking, oh, it's only small, I'll leave it a while. Not thinking, oh, but it wouldn't happen to me. Or not thinking, I don't want to waste anybody's time. All of those things that go through your head when you do find something, oh, I'll just wait a few days or no. Rob was adamant I get checked straight away. When I phoned the doctors, they shuffled around in port. They shuffled around appointments. Sorry, I've gone really dry throated. Oh, it was a stressful few weeks and yeah. I don't, I don't need to say much more. The important thing is check yourself if you find anything abnormal, lump or discoloration in your armpits or your breasts, then do phone the doctors and don't think that you're wasting anybody's time because you're not. Um, I got referred to be checked. I went and got checked a couple of days ago um, and thankfully didn't actually even need a mammogram, which I thought I was gonna have and was obviously feeling quite anxious about having done. I did have ultra, they did find, they did feel the lump, which has gone down, I say whilst driving, um, and they ultrasounded it and determined that it's a hematoma, which basically is a congestion of blood or tissue damage. Um, and I remembered that I was holding my phone once about six weeks ago, as I do on the phone like this, and Banksy headbutted, hands on wheel, the end of the phone and bruised me basically a very deep tissue bruise which didn't come to the surface or show for about four or five weeks so that's why when it actually came to the surface and showed i didn't really remember what had happened and i was just like oh panic where's that come from google don't google blah 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 anyway 
I'm blabbing. This has gone on for five minutes. All I wanted to do was thank you all for the lovely messages following my reel on Instagram and to and for all the reshares because I think it's important that we do encourage everybody to check themselves regularly and if you do find something abnormal, go phone the doctors and get checked out. That's all I'm going to say because, as I said, this has gone on far too long but I just, I'm very, I was overwhelmed. I was I had the elation of getting the trailer on the Monday and then I had the worry of getting the scan on the Tuesday so it was all all an emotional roller coaster at the beginning of this week it is now currently Thursday and I'm hoping I am going to be I was just thinking if I get home from work in time but I am and that is what this vlog is going to be about and hopefully titled to go and take my pony out in the new trailer for the first time currently stuck in traffic on the way home thought it would only be five minutes to get home probably good job it isn't because i've blabbed for that long already and i'm not even halfway home yet so yeah we'll get home i'll get changed and we will rendezvous by the trailer and see whether his lordship loads for the first time in it i hope he does like i said it's side loading rear facing and we did have the same style trailer for five years previously but he hasn't been in one like that for over 18 months i think i figured out it was so yeah we'll uh rendezvous you shortly and i will show you it's a little bit closer i'll do a bit of a trailer tour i know i showed it on when i collected it but i'd like to show it properly in all its glory and yeah, tomorrow I will be loading it up to go eventing. So obviously I'll show where things go and everything then. I won't be doing that tonight because I have booked arena hire and yeah, I'm gonna be pushed for time as per usual. Story of my life. Didn't expect to be stuck in traffic. So could quite happily carry on chatting to you, but I wanted to make this a short and sweet mini vlog. Um, I'm going to Coleraine to pop, well, to basically get him a out in the trailer b run through the dressage test for saturday and c pop or jump or two because i haven't jumped since morton surprise surprise life's been chaotic um sam who did banksy's back you'll have seen in a previous video is coming with me to yell at me thankfully um i obviously did ask em but she's had a lesson today with the lovely lola earlier on and obviously i couldn't go to that because i was at workies so yes i am talking for talking's sake i will rendezvous with banksy very shortly it's been lovely and sunny here today and i've just seen a really big gray cloud over there meh I am hitched up, bedding is down, tack locker, which I didn't film filling because my phone was charging, is full and oh my goodness it is so much easier, look at the width of it, to fit both saddles in. I used to really struggle getting my dressage saddle in because the frame of the door on the show tracker was so much narrower. This one's massive, loads of room, I'm taking both saddles because I think it'd be good to warm up in my dressage saddle, just because as I admitted a while but oh i need a hat um i haven't ridden in it much recently and yeah it obviously is going to feel different on him to what his jump saddle does so that was one of the comments from one of you on the a vlog that yeah tina probably get a get your saddles blah, blah, blah. a get your saddle checked and b riding it more often so that's what i'm doing by packing it i'm gonna ride in both saddles today 
hat, boots, bridle, neck strap. Got my boots on already. And as I said, I've just done, put some bedding. Oh, I need to move that. Put the knife away. Bedding down. <laughs> Obviously, I'm gonna set my tripod up and film loading him. But after that, I'm just gonna concentrate on driving because like I said, I haven't towed a trailer this big in a long time. And I don't wanna be nervous. Um, I think it's best I just focus on driving and concentrating, not like scuffing anything or anything like that and making sure Banks is content in there. Oh, I am gonna get him a hay net and put up. See how light and airy it is inside. So much lighter and nice air vents up the top. I've noticed two, looks weird me pointing with this knife in my hand. Right, I am faffing. Um, fingers crossed he lows. I'm sure he will but there's just part of me that wonders whether he's going to pick up a little bit on my nerves of towing it. I'm not nervous because I like towing and I enjoy towing and I love driving, but I am a little bit nervous just because it's so new and shiny. <laughs> right, let's concentrate. Let's, let's just set the tripod up, get the pony in, give him a quick brush. I'm not going to make him immaculate, obviously, because I don't have time um, and get the show on the road, make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Put my hat in, got my boots on. Get Oh, stirrups. <laughs> when you go through things like that because I keep my syrup separately separately oh gosh I'm struggling with words today still all a bit emotional it's been an emotional week emotions are high stirrups just showed you where I keep them <laughs> and always kept there and you like, oh then go in the tap locker look my brain isn't concentrating right I'm gonna stop vlogging and start concentrating I need to not be vlogger Tina today I need to be driver Tina and then rider Tina Mm -mm. Whoa, look at that bum um i've just got robbie to come and give it a once over just to check so that i because i said i feel a little bit nervous just because it's so precious and the cargo is so precious as well well, <laughs> well you're not going in the back of the trailer are you i'm towing it on my own again just wanted him to check i've done everything correctly what i'm going in about 10 minutes side note before i put the phone down just as the boys came trotting over to me in their fly masks Oh, you've had a nice roll in yours. I remembered that I've got a new challenge that I've just posted live on Challenge Social at the moment where you could win one of, I'll show you Dinks's because it's cleaner. Look, they make them in dinky sizes now. The new Woofwear fly mask. I say new, Banksy had his all of last season. Oh, motorbikes flying down our lane. They um, come with or without ears and also you can get a detachable nose protectors as well they are uv yeah you know what i mean i'm not i'm not i'm not in sales tina mode i'm in nervous tina mode so anyway challenge social head over and enter the giveaway should you wish one or just head straight to woofwear's website and check them out oh look his bum's got all dappily in his summer coat right let's get him in before he disappears and he just said buggered off buggers off buggers off don't normally say things like that right phones going down and I'll see you all when I'm on board, hopefully, if I can persuade Sam to film some of it. Bribery at the ready. yet <laughs> tied him to the hay net and then was like no tina that's not safe let's uh, attach this over there where it's meant to go and i have got the little bungee tie things on order from Carmelite, which will be here i did have old purple ones but i'm not even sure where i've put them and they are a little bit rusty so i thought i would get some shiny new ones and some things to put on the outside to tie them to as well what a clever boy Good boy. Very good boy. Uh, yeah, they're not a phone over. Right, so much for Tina turning off the vlogging. It is a bit of an addiction, I will admit. Right, tied up safely. Good 
good chappy. Mwah. Be just as good as that to ride in a minute, please. Yeah? Yeah? And more importantly, on Saturday. <laughs> All right, see you when we get there. I don't know if I need to turn this around or not when there's not another horse in here. I don't think so. It's only sort of nibbling each other, isn't it? You've got nobody to nibble, have you? Right, ramp up, off we go. I'll see you when we get there, all right? Safe travels. Safe travels. You're handsome, Chappie. Driving. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You'll have to drink just that sit. for me. That's, That's so cute. Oh, I've just pulled up at Coleraine and everybody knows Holly. Okay, done. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. She's opened a bottle of bubbly to toast my. Oh, I might cry. That's a bit cute, isn't it? <laughs> but now you have to go do a circle because I need to take a drone of you coming in again. So. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> right, I'll pass this back then. Ching ching. Cheers. Just wanna dance, want a simple romance, nothing more, nothing less from you. Just stay the night, then we leave when it's light, nothing wrong, it's alright with you. No ties, no prize, no need, so free. Don't care what you say, what you do, how you feel As long as you can show me a good time I don't need promises, honestly, no big deal As long as you can show me a good time I don't care Oh, 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 oh. What do we think, Banks, to the drone? Is it going to give guaranteed added impulsion? Where's it to? Where's it to? He's up there. Oh, scary. It's got a nice footage of the trailer, though, and that's what's important, all right? <laughs> He's like, where's Lola when I need her? I need a friend or Maisie. Why haven't I got a friend to hold my hand? I don't want to be so emotional. Just wanna dance, no. want a simple romance, nothing more, nothing less from you. No ties, no prize. Sitting up. No need, so free. I don't care what you say. You're overthinking. You Get that punchy counter. As long as you can show me a good time. Don't need promises, honestly, no big deal. As long as you can show me a good time, I don't care. Yeah, ignore it. It's made me angry. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting up. Get 
get the power back. He's very keen. <laughs> Sit up. Up. Shoulders. Good chat. Good at four. Yeah. <laughs> Sit up. Somebody didn't want to stop then. He's having fun. I think he realised it was a last jump. That was good, thank you very much. What a clever pony! <laughs> We're both sweaty, very much like last night. Sam's um, measuring the jump with her iPhone. I did not know you could do that. I think it's I think it's a good meter. It's good. They'll be smaller than that on Saturday, that's for sure. And you're a very really good boy. In fact, I don't think he had a pole. No, not, not one. Good. Clever Jeffy. And Mummy let him go more forwards. Didn't I? <laughs> it don't work. How big is it? That's wrong. That's a Colrain 85. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart, let's walk you off a bit. A good time was had by all. Glim and chuff that Holly also got drone footage of the trailer coming into the car park, not gonna lie, highlight of the night. How sad's that, thanks. <laughs> no, the highlight was you being a very good boy. He was proper chilled, so much so that I actually said, I'm glad I bought my spurs. Didn't I? Oh, what you see now? Let's get you stripped off, watered loaded up and on the merry road home but very much loving having my own trailer again although i do obviously miss em and lola but like i said they had a lesson this morning so i was very fortunate to have sam come along and i think she might be coming on saturday too <laughs> does she want to give up a whole day to spend with us banks as long as you kick kick as long as i kick i thought you meant he kicks no. as long as i kick on yeah. hey and as long as you behave in dressage I don't know what he spotted. The windmill. I think it's the windmill. It's definitely not the drone. Holly's gone in. <laughs> All right, let's get you sorted out, mate. Come on. Come on, you clever pony. He very much enjoyed that. I don't know what he spotted. <laughs> what you spotted, boo? You've just grown a hand. It's so handsome on this <laughs> <laughs> He knows and he agrees. Are you handsome? Do I love you? <laughs> very much so. I don't know what he's seen, he's so funny. Let's put you in your lovely trailer. Come on. Come on. The mummy tired. And we all want to get home and watch friends, exactly. <laughs> We've got friends to watch. Come on. We'll be here all night if I leave it leave him out of his way. Let's go. Come on, sweetheart. Oops. Just realised I didn't ride in my dress on saddle. Bad me. I'll have to do that tomorrow. <laughs> I, don't, I definitely don't think he's uncomfortable in it though. I think it's just me not used to riding in it and being tense at a first event. He's gonna be awesome on Saturday, I know it. I re-watched Pontusball 19 vlog back earlier when we came second, Banks, and it's given us positive vibes. We came second on a 32 double clear. So if we could just have that dressage score again, please. I don't really care about the rest of it. Are we going sub 20s? Oh, sub 20s, <laughs> that's optimistic, isn't it? Very much so. Maybe by the end of the year. I mean, can we one day beat our 22.8? That's a goal to aim for, isn't it? 
At the moment, it's just to keep getting the 30s banks and contain the excitement and exuberance. Let's see if he'll go straight in now. Yeah, but the good thing is, if I'm behind him, I'm quite happy to give him a push up the bum because he's my horse and I'll know whether he... Oh, what a good baby. He doesn't even need a push up the bum. You're a sweetheart, aren't you? Oh, mummy hasn't sponged you off. Do that when I get home, bad mum. Pick up, it's only a five minute drive. And just like that, the horse was unloaded, washed down and put away. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh no, it's raining and I left his rug out. Uh-oh. I put a different one on tonight. Oh, Dinks, I left your fly mask on too. What a bad mummy. Oh, good boy, boo-boo. Oh, Robbie, I love it. How do I do that? Oh, See that white thing? Left-handed. Yeah, no, it's not. It was in that to start with. Um, oh. Oh, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. You're a good boy. You're bracing yourself. Gonna muck it out straight away and make sure it all stays nice and clean, aren't we? But first things first, let's get you sponged off because you were a bit sweaty, weren't you? Hmm? What did you say, babes? That'll last a week, did you say? Oh, what have I done there? I'm not put that down long enough. <laughs> it's hitting the roof. Oh, oh, I'm so delighted with her. Elsa, you're a star. We get to watch friends in a bit too. Oh, Rob's so excited about that. Right, let's so strippy you. I'll strippy you off, you're already stripped. Spongy you off. Good boy, weren't you? Oh, my boy, why didn't you let me know? At least you didn't do that in the trailer. He can't talk. Wow, because he normally feels uncomfortable if he needs a wee wee. Bless his heart. Oh, thanks. I knew I phoned you for a reason to say I was nearly home. Lucky girly. Come on, boo boo. Oh, pfft. was that hard work? Was it hard work? Mummy going to spend you off, put your dry rug on. Oh, hi, you two. Do you want your dinner? Are you hungry, puss cats? Are you? Saddle pads all clean. Cross country boots all clean. All organised, ready for Saturday. Puss, puss. Oi. Come on, we need to rinse you off. Come on. I don't want cold water, mum. Voila. As far as I mean to go on, all mucked out. Got to keep Elsa clean. <laughs> Hope people, um, well, lots of you did agree on Instagram that Elsa is a good name for her. I hope you've enjoyed this spontaneous Saturday night upload guys and um, we will have competed today at Pontus Ball so fingers crossed it all went well no doubt there'll be updates on Instagram but the full vlog another eventing vlog oh two in the space of two weeks will be live on Tuesday evening so if you don't already subscribe please do and also hit that notification bell because you will be alerted as soon as it goes live it's not, unfortunately. Oh, can't do this with one hand. Yes, I can. It's not, unfortunately, a stay away show this time. But we definitely need to get one of them in the diary now that I have this beauty. <laughs> I was going to do a full on trailer tour, but I did kind of show the majority of it in um, the collecting her video. However, if you do think it would be a good idea to show every little bit of it then let me know comment below and i will do a full ins and outs of every nook and cranny cupboard gas bottle oh, i'm showing it all now yeah comment below if you think that's a good idea guys do give it a like if you've enjoyed it and over and out for us yes you can't have your tea yet you've had a spongy off you can't have your tea yet though you need to cool down a little bit say thank you to everybody for their support and in enabling you to get a snazzy new vehicle to ride in. You're a very spoilt boy. You're a very lucky boy. And I'm very lucky to have you. Yeah. Before I go, though, I do just want to touch really, really quickly on the topic of conversation from the beginning of the vlog. Do check your boobies, guys. And do not feel like you would be wasting anybody's... Sorry, <laughs> Dix is playing with his football behind me. Do not feel like you would be wasting anybody's time or feel like you're over worrying or that it's not a problem or too much of a problem or too big or too small just get them checked because 
it is so so important as they said at the mermaid center they like pr no early detection is the best form what is he doing <laughs> thanks stop trying to make me laugh when i'm talking about something so serious early detection is the best form of prevention so check them regularly and if you do get any problems or feel anything abnormal then do contact your doctors over and out from me and i will see you all very very soon need to unload my tack out of my lovely trailer <laughs> even though i need to load it all up again tomorrow but i do need to ride beforehand and yeah then i need to get inside and watch friends Eek! <laughs> gonna start and end every vlog like that now apologies in advance bye don't you do it right now you know we met for a reason but you're trying to deny that we should be together it's heavy weather